Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next-door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. Thing for the men. Shall I leave the room? <laughs> no, I don't think that'll be necessary. Gentlemen, there have been rumors spreading around town that the fishing is terrific up at beautiful Singing Lake. And believe you me, gentlemen, these rumors are true. I ought to know. I started them. <laughs> Boy, what a cornball. No fooling, men. You should see the fish up here. The lake is thick with trout and bass. Every freshwater fish you can imagine. Oh, boy, what fishing. He's a good talker, boy. Excuse me a moment while I answer my phone. Hello? What? Well, I'll certainly tell them, sir. Men, that was Mr. Armbrecker, president of the Singing Lake Realty Corporation. He wants you all to be his guests at beautiful Singing Lake with no obligation to you. He says to come on up today, bring your fishing rods and just see how you like it. Boy, what a line that guy's got. Think of it, men, a free fishing trip without obligation to buy a thing. Why don't you come on up? See for yourself. How about it, fellas? Will you turn that off when you get a chance, Harriet? Listen carefully now, men, and I'll tell you how to get here. Do you have a pencil handy? Uh, uh wait, just a second, Harriet. Might as well take these directions down just in case. <laughs> Did Pop get home yet, Mom? Not yet, dear. I expect him any minute, though. What are we having for dinner, Mom? Well, your Pop went fishing, so I'm figuring on having fish for dinner. Well, Betty catches a lot, boy. Pop's a good fisherman. Did he ever tell you about the time he caught that big moron? No. Where was that? Well, it was just off the coast of Florida, I think. Well, that's nothing. Did he ever tell you about the time he caught those four sharks? <laughs> Why, well, your father's had some interesting experiences. Hasn't he ever told you any fish stories, Mom? Oh, he's probably told me a few. Oh, I think I hear a car in the driveway. That's probably your father now. I'll go out and help him carry in the fish. Ricky's pretty optimistic. Maybe Pop didn't catch any fish. Well, there's always a possibility. It's one of the hazards of fishing. He probably caught a few. Hi, Pop. Oh. How many fish do you catch? Oh, not very many, son. Here, will you give me a hand with this gear? Well, where are the fish? Uh... Well, God, it's kind of chilly out here. Let's get in the house, son. Mom says we're having fish for dinner. Fish? Gee, I was sort of counting on meatloaf. Uh oh, hello, dear. Oh, hi, Pop. Did you have a good day? Yes, it was very nice, thank you. Well, we're all prepared for a nice fish dinner. How many did you catch? Well, how do you don't go fishing just to catch fish? There are other elements involved. The relaxation, the sunshine, and the exercise. In other words, you didn't catch any. Oh, now, don't jump to hasty conclusions. I didn't catch a whole mess of them, but I did catch a fish. Did you catch a big one, Pop? Well, it's not exactly a whale, but it's a nice medium size. Very comfortable for a fish, I imagine. Let's see, where is it? Can't you even find it? Oh, it's pretty dark in this basket. No, here it is. As I say, it's not awfully large. <laughs> Well, I, I imagine it's nice and tender. Why, sure. Fry it in a little butter, put it on a cracker, and I'll bet it's delicious. <laughs> well, hi, if they're not biting, they're just not biting. That's all there is to it. It's a nice looking fish, though, Pop. Yeah, and it's pretty big considering how little it is. <laughs> what happened, dear? You're up there all day. Well, as I say, if they're not biting, they're just not biting. I think I caught the only fish in Singing Lake. Then I have to snatch him off the hook real fast before my bait ate him up. <laughs> Pop? Yeah? How come everybody was saying how good the fishing was up there? Well, evidently, Dave, that was a rumor started by the real estate agent. Boy, if there'd been as many fish as there were real estate sales, I'd have done okay. Oh, man, all that preparation, you only caught one little fish. I'm just sorry that you folks were counting on fish for dinner. I didn't know it. Oh, well, we're going to have fish for dinner. Let me show you something. Look here. Gee. Oh, what a monster. Where did you get that? I caught it with some little green pieces of paper at Gilhooly's Fish Market. Now, why couldn't I have caught a fish like that instead of this little dinky thing I pulled out? Well, because you went fishing at Singing Lake instead of Gilhooly's Fish Market. 
I can't understand it. Singing Lake sounded like such a small place, too. Yeah, oh, I found out why they call it Singing Lake. I was serenaded by mosquitoes all afternoon. <laughs> what were they singing? Uh, I think it was some little ditty called All Suckers Aren't Found in the Water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's too bad, dear. But at least you got a little sunshine. Yeah. My singing lake. Look at these two fish. Take a look at this beautiful big fish your mother bought, and then take a look at this little dinky thing that I caught. They look like father and son. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with that? Have you ever seen such a small fish? What are you going to do with it, Pop? Well, I don't know, Dave. I may mount it on a popsicle stick and carry it in my wallet. <laughs> you sure are a good sport, Pop. A lot of guys that get sore because they didn't catch a big fish. Well, there's no sense getting all riled up about it. I would have my head examined for going all the way up there in the first place. Let this be a lesson to you guys. Never believe in rumors, particularly if they're about fishing. What's a rumor, Pop? Oh, well, somebody says something to somebody else, and then this person passes it on. The first thing you know, it's spread all over, and everybody's believing it. Who starts rumors, Pop? Oh, nobody in particular, and everybody in general. Could you start a rumor? You bet I could. I could start a rumor so fantastic you'd swear nobody would believe it, and the first thing you know, everybody would be believing it. What, for instance, Pop? Uh, well, let's think of a real wild one. Oh, you know that little creek out past the valley called Mud Basin? Oh, sure. Yeah, some of the guys even went swimming up there last year. Okay. Suppose I told a few people that there was good fishing up there. Before you could say knife, there'd be people from all over the neighborhood trying to pull fish out of it. Oh, Pop, there are no fish at Mud Basin. Well, Golly, what fish could stand it up there? That's exactly it. We know there are no fish up there, but I'll guarantee if I started a rumor to that effect, people would be up there in droves. Oh, Pop, not Mud Basin. Yes, Mud Basin. Hi, Osh. Oh, hi, Thorny. Hi, boys. <laughs> hey, what's this about Mud Basin? Oh, no, it's, it's nothing important. I was just discussing something with the boys. Holy smoke, Oz, what a beautiful fish. It is not a beauty, hey, though. Hey, where'd you catch that? No, oh, <laughs> I wish I had. Harriet bought it at Gil Hooley's Fish Market. Oh, now, look, Oz, will you stop kidding? I'm your friend. Now, tell me where you caught it. Now, you see, boys, this is the way rumors get started. Hey, what's this, Oz? <laughs> oh, well, it's nothing. It's too silly even to mention. Now, wait a minute. You were talking about Mud Basin just a minute ago. Oh, well, I was just explaining something to the boys. Yeah, Pop said if he told people there were fish at Mud Basin, everybody go up there. Oh, how do you like that, Oz? I'm your friend. Now, why are you holding out on me? Thorny! Okay, Thorny, I admit it. You're too smart for me. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's sure hard to believe that you actually caught this big fish in Mud Basin. Uh, you know something I find it kind of hard to believe, too? <laughs> By golly, Oz, if you can do it, so can I. You know, I think I'm going to take a trip up there tomorrow real early. Well, good. Only thing, though, Thorny, if it so happens you don't catch any fish, don't blame me. Remember, I didn't tell you a thing. <laughs> Oz, you could gal on me. Mum's the word. Well, I got to run along. I want to make sure that all my equipment is in good order. And thanks, old boy, for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Pa, he fell for it. Now, you see what I mean about rumors, boys? Now, there's Mr. Thornberry, a man of average mentality by reasonable standards, and yet he left here believing that the fish were biting like mad at Mud Basin. I'll guarantee you there hasn't been a fish caught up there in 30 years. And you didn't actually tell him anything? I didn't tell him anything. Not only that, I denied having caught the fish, and I specifically denied having caught it at Mud Basin. Did you really catch it at Mud Basin, Pa? <laughs> no, Ricky, I didn't catch the fish at all. But I'll guarantee you by tomorrow evening, this entire neighborhood will hear about the wonderful fishing up at Mud Basin. Yeah, but Mr. Thornberry said he wouldn't tell anybody. Ah, oh, that's one of the peculiarities of fishermen. They can't keep a secret for five minutes. Well, I'm going to go upstairs and get dressed for dinner. Uh, will you take sure, this for me, Dave? <laughs> I've got some interesting news for you, dear. It's in the nature of a secret. Well, good. Let's have it. You went fishing at the wrong place today. Oh, that's no secret. <laughs> I know where you should have gone. Well, uh, yeah, I should have gone to the aquarium. At least I would have seen some fish. <laughs> where is this fisherman's paradise you heard about? Well, Catherine Thornberry told me that Thorny's planning a hush-hush trip to Mud Basin in the morning, and he won't say anything more about it. Oh, Mud Basin, eh? Why don't you ask him? Maybe he'll let you go with him. 
Uh, no, I think I'll get me a salt shaker and go bird hunting tomorrow. <laughs> Big joke. Well, Harry, a little while ago, I was illustrating to the boys how rumors get started. See? Was it that funny? No, 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 listen to me. You know that big, beautiful fish you bought at the market? Yes. Well, Thorny left here thinking that I caught that at Mud Basin. <laughs> oh, Ozzie Nelson, that's terrible. Why, Thorny will spend the whole day up there and won't catch a thing. Well, so what? He'll get a nice, wet... I mean, he'll... he'll, he'll <laughs> fun, and uh, he'll be very much smarter as a result. I don't know. It's strange, though. You know, Thorny told Catherine that it was very logical that there'd be fish up at Mud Basin because nobody's fished there for 30 years. Well, yes, that's what I told him. Well, he figured lying fallow that long it'd be filled with fish by now. Oh, no, no, Harriet. I, I've never even heard of anybody fishing up there. I mean, everybody just naturally accepts the story that there are no fish up there. Wait a minute, now you've got me confused. You mean somebody started a rumor that there are no fish at Mud Basin? Well, I suppose it could be a rumor at that. Oh, have you ever seen Mud Basin? No, there couldn't possibly be any fish up there. I don't think so. <laughs> Ozzie, would you like some more coffee or toast or anything? Uh, no, thanks. Plenty, thanks. Now, look at that, Lee. It's early in the morning. Hello? Hello, Harriet. It's Mary. Oh, hello, Mary. It's Mary Dunkel. Say, has Ozzie gone fishing yet? We went fishing yesterday. Well, I've heard of the most wonderful place to go fishing. They tell me you have to hide behind a tree to bait your hook. <laughs> Mary says she's heard of a wonderful place to go fishing. Where is it, Mary? Well, I knew Ozzie wanted to know about it. It's a place called Mud Basin. <laughs> Are you sure, Mary? Absolutely positive. Mary, believe us, there aren't any fish in Mud Basin. Ozzie started the rumor, so we know. Oh, did Ozzie go fishing up there? No. No, we had fish for dinner last night, but I bought it at the market. Are they selling the fish from Mud Basin in the market? No, no, listen, Mary. I'll tell you how the whole thing starts. <laughs> Harriet? Here comes Mr. Canfield from across the street. Well, he's got the fish he caught draped across the fender of his car like a deer. <laughs> Wait. Hey, Pop, you should have seen what I just seen. No, 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 saw. You should have saw what I just seen. No, 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 seen, saw. You should have seen, saw what I just... That don't sound right. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound right. That's what I said. It don't sound right. Yeah, okay, it don't sound right. What was it you seen? A big fish, a whopper, boy. Mr. Randolph caught it down at Mud Basin. Hey, David! Oh, Mr. Nelson! Mr. Oh, hi, Emmy Lou. I've got something for you. Oh, good. <laughs> Holy smokes, where did you get that fish? Daddy sent it over, it's for you. Isn't it a beauty? Oh, well, that's one of the biggest fish I've ever seen. Daddy went fishing today and he brought this home. Wow. Where did he catch it? Don't tell me. Uh, it was at Mud Basin. Isn't it a beauty? Mud Basin? Well, this is one of the biggest fish I've ever seen. Oh, no, Mr. Nelson, this was the smallest one Daddy caught. He caught more? Three. Only three? He said he would have had better luck if he'd been closer to the water. He was in the third row. He finally landed one of the boats. Holy smokes, what a beautiful big fish. Oh, look, there's Mr. Thornberry. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Thornberry! 
I didn't know he had a brown car. Uh, well, he doesn't usually. He's been fishing at Mud Basin, too. <laughs> I better be going. Oh, okay. Thanks for the fish, Emmy Lou. Oh, one nice thing about a fish, you don't have to clean it. It's been in the water. Ah! <laughs> wow. This is fantastic. Hey, Oz. Uh, hi, Thorny. I'll be right with you. What? Basin. Hi, Oz, old boy. Uh, any luck up at Mud Basin, Thorny? Nope. No luck, huh? Well, nothing that I'd call luck yet. Well, for goodness sakes, Thorny, about five beautiful fish. I thought you said no luck. No luck, Oz. All skill. <laughs> you caught these at Mud Basin? Yep, and you were sure right about the fish up there, Oz. They were biting like crazy. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd you get that beauty? Oh, oh this. Oh, well, I was just standing in the kitchen there, trying out my rod and reel. Oh, now, wait a minute, Oz. That's stretching a point too far. No. <laughs> Emmy Lou came over and gave me this. Her father caught it at Mud Basin. Isn't it a beauty? Oh, sure, I saw him up there. You know, Oz, frankly, at first I thought you were crazy, but, boy, you sure had the dope on those fish. Here, take a look at these. Let's see how it's going. Fish. You caught these at Mud Basin. That's right, Mud Basin. You're sure it was Mud Basin? Sure, I'm sure. And, Oz, I want to thank you again for the tip. Mud Basin. Mud Basin. <laughs> Mud Basin. Mud Basin. <laughs> I hate to break up this sparkling conversation, Oz, but I want to go in and show Captain my pitch. See you later. Captain, there comes Isaac Harry, did you put my boots away? No, they're still out in the garage. Why? Well, you won't believe this, but I'm going fishing up at Mud Basin. What? I'll probably have a heck of a time finding a seat up there. A fine friend this thorny turned out to be. What are you talking about? Well, I let him in on a good thing out of the bigness of my heart, tell him a secret, and what does he do but blab it all over? First thing you know, the whole town is up there pulling out my fish by the hundreds. You aren't serious, are you? Yes. Emmy Lou's father, Joe Randolph, Thorny, they all went up there, made tremendous catches, and not a one of them even had the decency to invite me to go along with him. And you're actually going to fish at Mud Basin? You're darn right I am. I'll be back in about two hours. Have the cracker crumbs ready. But, Ozzy, you started the rumor, remember, to prove a point to the boys. Harriet, if I ever start a rumor the sky is falling, take to the caves. <laughs> Where's Oz? Oh, he took off from Mud Basin a couple of hours ago. Oh, did he? Mm-hmm. He was out of here like a shot. I understand you caught quite a few fish at Mud Basin. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, at least that's what I like to have Oz believe. Well, now, what do you mean by that? Well, Harry, just between you and me, I bought them all at Duhuli's Fish Market. <laughs> what about Mud Basin? Oh, believe me, Harriet, there are no fish in Mud Basin. Well, Thorny, every man in the neighborhood's been up there to catch fish. Well, what you mean to say is that you've seen a lot of men coming home with fish. Now, coming home with them, yes. But catching them up in Mud Basin, no. Well, what about Emmy Lou's father and Mr. Randolph and all the rest of them? Well, old man Gahooley told me this is the biggest day in the history of the fish market. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to your lovable husband and his fiendish sense of humor. Oh, oh. <laughs> Poor Ozzy. Victim of his own rumor. Harriet, I can't tell you how sorry I feel. As a matter of fact, I can't wait till I tell us. Well, it looks like you won't have to wait long. That sounds like him at the back door now. Uh-oh. Hi, Oz. Oh, hi, Thorny. Uh, any luck? Uh, no, I guess I'm just not as good a fisherman as you are. Well, that's too bad, Oz. Better luck tomorrow. <laughs> Sat out there for two hours. All I caught was... Well, I'll show it to you. Tremendous fish. You mean you caught that in Mud Basin? Well, why are you so surprised? You caught five up there. Well, yeah, Oz, but nothing that big. Well, I imagine your five total together weigh almost as much as this one. <laughs> There's some paper over there by the refrigerator. We'll spread it out on the table. Oh, Ozzy, what a beautiful fish. Oh, thank you, dear. Now, look, Oz, you really didn't catch that in Mud Basin. Oh, sorry, now stop gloating. Okay, you got five, and I only got three, but this is a pretty big one. This is fantastic. 
Oh, what a struggle he put up, Thorny. <sighs> Tired out. Oh, you come outside and give me a hand. I want to bring the other two in. My wheelbarrow's broken. <laughs> well, Oscar, let's hurry up. I want to get back up there before it gets dark. <laughs> Pop said he'd be right down, Mom. He's just changing his clothes. Oh, well, that's good. Dinner just about ready. Well, that sure was a big fish pop caught. Yeah, it sure was. I bet it weighs as much as you do, Ricky. Maybe so, but I have a nicer face. <laughs> that's debatable. Pop's rumor sure turned out to be true. Well, your father's a pretty amazing fellow. Did you call me, Harriet? <laughs> no, dear. Sure takes a wonderful fisherman to catch a fish as big as that one. Oh, the size of it was nothing. There's something much more amazing than that. What's that, Mom? Well, in a mud hole miles from the ocean, your father caught a saltwater bass. Hello? Well, I'll ask him. He's right here. Something the matter? It's Mr. Gil Hooley at the fish market. He says business was so good yesterday that he's willing to pay you a commission if you'll start a rumor that trout are running at Drywater Creek. 